and welcome back to the I Am A Woman podcast. I am your host, Tarina Peoples, and we are in part number seven of our self-care series. Thank you so much for joining me, coming back. Listen, if you missed parts one through six, you want to make sure that you go back and you re-watch those or you re-listen to those. If you're listening on Spotify, you can watch the I Am A Woman podcast on our YouTube channel at I Am A Woman. So you want to make sure that you go over like, comment, and subscribe. Don't get out of there without subscribing. And you can also request to join our I Am A Woman mentorship group on Facebook. It is a community of women who are trying to discover their authentic selves and God. If that's something that you're interested in, we would love to see you. We would love to have you over there. Now let's get into today's topic. Keep watching. So today's topic of self-care is talking about our space. We're talking about spatial self-care. So when we talk about self-care, what is our definition? We are talking about any activity that we do deliberately in order to take care of our mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual health. Now, um, our foundational scripture is Mark 12, 30 through 31. And it says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Now listen, in order for us to fully love our neighbor, we have to love ourselves. And how can we love ourselves if we don't know ourselves? So we are on this journey of self-care to get to know ourselves once again, now remember, these conversations, these videos are just to help you start the conversation. We want you to go dig deeper and dig further on your own, but this is going to help you jumpstart the conversation and to really dig in and find out what area of self-care do you need to focus on and how can I get this done and how can I go about seeing better things manifest in my life. So let's start the conversation. So with us talking about our spatial self-care, um, I did a video prior to starting this series. It's called Getting Started, Get Started Today. It's called Get Started Today. And I want you to go back and watch that video because it's talking about, um, in the video, it just shows you how I clean my office space. I rearranged my office. I cleaned it um, because I was wanting to put myself in a better um space to be productive now for me having a having my space around me clean and have things readily accessible to me having things in order allows me to be more productive it allows me to be focused it allows me to get things done right and um that is necessary okay so when we're talking about our space we're talking about our home we're talking about our environment we are talking about stability and having a clean space. And it's important because um, having a clean space affects your health. It affects your health. Um, it affects your mental health. <laughs> it affects your physical health. It is necessary to have a clean space, right? Because you're getting rid of um, all of the extra uh dust and whatever in the air it's also helping you to not be so stressed out about having things out of order because if i can walk into a space that is clean and a space that is organized then i know i'm going to be more effective um and be more comfortable in that space so i take out time to ensure that my space around me is clean I take out time to ensure that things are put, I put things back in order so that I'm not having to search for them the next time that I want them. So I'm doing things intentionally to set myself up for success in my workspace, okay? That is going to help me maintain a clean environment so that I can be more productive. So let me know down in the comments, what area do you need to clean? Is it your office? Is it your bedroom? Is it your desk? What is the area? Let me know down in the comments. So when we are also talking about environment, um, we might not just be talking about like a physical room. We also might be talking about the people that are in our environment. We might be talking about um, the, the interactions that we have or the conversations that we are having in our environment. Are they life-giving? Are they healthy? Are they good? Are they life-giving, right? Are they really conversations that you should be entering into? Is your environment a positive environment? Or 
or are you in an environment where it's unhealthy and it's toxic and it's just unhealthy? Are you creating a healthy environment for yourself to live, to grow, to thrive, to become better in? Those things are necessary in order for us to have a good spatial self-care. We want our spaces that we are involved in, we need them to be healthy. We need them to be good and clean and uplifting, right? So in order for me to effectively love someone else, I have to love myself by creating a healthy and positive environment for me to grow and thrive in so that when I invite someone else into my environment, that they are just equally as comfortable. They're equally as um, secure in that environment as I am. If I am not taking out time to ensure my environment is healthy and comfortable, even for myself to sit in, I can't expect someone else to be willing to sit in that environment with me. Therefore, it's going to make it hard for me to fill out the commandment of loving someone as I love myself. I can't love other people. I can't make them feel comfortable. I can't make them feel safe and secure because I'm not comfortable and I'm not safe and secure in my own environment. So in order for us to develop and and develop those um, those healthy and safe environments for other people to want to come into it, I need to ensure that I have things in order. I need to clean up my space around me. I need to clean up my environment around me, whether that's physically, physical, emotional, or relational. I need to clean my environment and make sure that it is a space where I can grow and I can thrive in. Yeah. That is good stuff right there. All right, all right, this was a short one, but it was so necessary. So listen, if you're listening to this on Spotify, you can also come over to the YouTube channel at I Am A Woman and watch the podcast as well. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't get out of here without subscribing. Join the family. We would love for you to be a part. Also, if you have not done it already, sister girl, what are you waiting on? Join, request to join the I Am A Woman mentorship group on Facebook. It's a community of women who are discovering their authentic selves in God. And we would love to have you. Remember, family, God bless you. Have an amazing day. As always, if no one has told you, remember, I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'm believing the Lord for the very best for your life. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.